So I want to pick up where we left off last week. We were having this conversation about corporate rainbow washing of LGBTQ plus pride. And I discussed how irritating it was to me that all of these large multi-billion dollar corporations are changing their logos to rainbows in order to celebrate pl- pride as they literally donate to anti-LGBTQ plus politicians. Like it's it's absolutely infuriating it's hypocritical and I hate it, right? But there is honestly a difference between some companies and others. Like McDonald's, for example, when they change their logo to a rainbow flag, that's offensive to me, but it's less offensive than companies like Boeing changing their logos to, you know, the rainbow flag or Raytheon because you're literally manufacturing bombs that were murdering children with in the Middle East and North Africa. So, like, sit this one out when we're talking about civil rights. Just stay silent because we don't want your support. We reject your support. Again, don't speak for every single LGBTQ plus person, but I think that obviously a murderous company, like I don't want your endorsement. I reject your endorsement. I think that most people would agree with that sentiment, but like that, in my opinion, Raytheon, Boeing, human rights abusers are the ones that are the most egregious who really should shut the fuck up about pride. And we have a new uh, contender in the, uh, realm of rainbow washing that spoke up and this one was just it was beyond the pale for me so ice yes that ice that torments immigrants tweeted out during pride month we recognize our lgbtq plus employees reflect on the trials that their community has endured and rejoice with them in the triumphs of those who have bravely fought and continue to fight for full equality okay so the first thing you're going to notice is uh that ratio Oof, that's a big ratio. But ICE is uh, is tweeting this out. The American Gestapo is tweeting this out. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. But thankfully, I didn't have to formulate a response because, I mean, my, my reaction was just to feel disgusted at this. But the left, they absolutely did not hesitate. They pounced and they dragged ICE for this because if anyone is going to talk about human rights and pride, the last should be ICE. This person says simply, get fucked, you pieces of shit. Totally agree. Uh, This shoe, and they point to an article from Rolling Stone uh, that reads, a trans woman died in ICE custody, then ICE deleted video footage of her. Yeah. Matt just shares uh, this meme, which (laughs) is great. Um, I hope all those employees find new jobs and your org gets abolished. Everyone, including the social media person working for y'all, should be ashamed. This person says, you're going to release all those LGBTQ plus migrants and refugees you got caged up and trying to deport? If not, shut the fuck up. Get fucked, losers. This person shared a maple cocaine tweet. Conservatives, let's round up Muslims and put them in camps. Liberals, hire more women guards. And this is basically like what we're seeing here, like the rainbow washing of one of the most egregious organizations in American government. Uh, shut the fuck up. Fuck off. Our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. And it goes on and on. Basically, like every single reply was dragging them. And it was so satisfying to see as a member of the LGBTQ plus community, ICE is a despicable, morally reprehensible organization that has done so much damage to human beings. Tormented is still tormenting communities. And to even have a Twitter account, like to tweet anything I mean, you think that they'd want to hide their faces, but they have really the audacity during Pride to use the rainbow logo to pretend as if they're allies and they support human rights. You don't support human rights. You are fascists. Anyone who works at this organization should be ashamed of themselves and this organization should not exist. I don't think much else has to be said. Um, ICE, I mean, when when they're tweeting about Pride... um, the rainbow washing has gone too far. Please do not ever say anything about pride, human rights, civil rights, civil liberties even, if you A, are fascistic and you abuse human rights and torment communities, or B, manufacture things that we use to kill people. 